Hey, good evening, folks, and welcome to the uh, Morris Summer 2020 Adventures Day 75. It is September the 9th, 8th, September the 8th, 2020. Okay. Hey, uh, folks, we had a uh, wet, windy, cool, uh, borderline cold day, and we've got a cool, borderline cold evening, <laughs> if I can say we left here, uh, you know, um, last night, told the wife, don't set the alarm. We'll just wake up when we get up, which we did. Uh, finally got up around 8 o'clock, uh, maybe a little after. Um, you know, got around, had breakfast, whatever. And then we went to a couple of national parks that are near here. Um, spent Well, we spent the day there, uh, the majority of the day anyway. Uh, we left here uh, a little after 10 and we got back, what was it, Mama, 3.30, 4 o'clock, mm -hmm. something like that. So, uh, you know, basically spent the most of the day there. Uh, first one we went to was Arches, the Arches National uh, Park. Um, pretty, okay, um, in its own way. Uh, you know, the both national parks are, are made up of uh, sandstone, and slate, and shale, and... Uh, you know, some other types of rocks. Uh, I don't remember what those, but I remember those ones in, in the listing that was I read. Mm, excuse me. But, uh, you know, the uh, between the, the rain, um, the wind, you know, the rivers flowing through, the creeks and, and whatnot, the runoff from, from higher up down, uh, you know, it, it, really pretty. Um, Arches, National Park is just outside of Moab, Utah. So uh, after we went to, into the park there and, and you know looked around and drove into the park a little bit and whatnot, we went to Moab. Oh, excuse me, folks. Excuse me. I uh, went into Moab. Uh, basically, just to say, hey, check. I got the check mark. Say we've been there. No, I didn't get a T-shirt from there. I got it from Farches and I got it from the other place. But anyway, um, while I was um, uh, uh, driving back out of, of Arches, they had a pull-off spot there, and it's way up high. Uh, I read the, uh, the placard that was there, and the highway, and I've got pictures of it, uh, is just a few feet below the fault line. And we were on the east uh, rim of the canyon, and it is over 200 feet lower than the western side, because so when the when it when, it, it, when the faults uh, happened and it and the shift happened, it went like this. Okay, so we're over here on this side, two hundred feet below this one, and you can see all along that mountain or the cliff there of, of the west side, the different layers of, of dirt, you know, and different errors that they that scientists geologists call you know the different errors and whatnot, and it was pretty, um, uh, you know, and and then. From there, we went, uh, we came back up north a little bit, and then we went west again, or west, I won't say again, um, to Canyonland National Park. And of the two, uh, we didn't get to see as much of Canyonland National Park as we did um, Arches National Park. Uh, I think it's in natural, it's national park, you know, uh, Arches National Park and Canyonland National Park. Um, but because the rain has started moving in, the wind had picked up, and even coming out of Canyonland National Park, um, we even come into some sleet and, and some snowflakes. Uh, got a few pictures of that. Uh, not, it, wasn't, it was too warm to stick, but uh, coming down, uh, Chrissy got some pictures of that. Uh, but we did get to uh, Souvenirs from both, um, you know, uh, uh, national parks. And of the two, I think I think I would probably like Canyonland more than I would Arches. Although we didn't go that far into Can uh, uh, into Arches, maybe a couple of miles, all the further we went in. And one of the rangers, I asked him, and he said it would be an hour and a half round trip going in and out. So we didn't want to spend that much time there. So we went ahead and went to Canyonland, and going into, going into the park, I could look over to my left, 
and I could see a bunch of different canyons and thus the name Canyon Land because there's a bunch of different canyons that you can explore. Hiking trails, bike trails, Jeep trails, you know, so all of that, um, you know, I, I think I would like that more. Um, but we'd, I say we didn't get to explore that as much as we did arches. Oh. Excuse me. And yes, folks, I did get a good night's sleep. I mean, I went to bed around 10 o'clock last night. <laughs> like I say, I think I didn't get out of bed till a little after 8. So, yeah, I, mean, I didn't even wake up till 8. So, <laughs> so uh, although uh, <laughs> Chrissy just looks at me and says, uh, yeah, I got up at 3, took the flags down because the wind was blowing so hard. And then the rains moved in and it was beaten on the on the roof of the RV. So, yeah, I did wake up a couple of times, but... Uh, you know, all that being said, today was, even though it was windy and drizzly and rainy, it was still a good day. And it, it was, I'm, I'm glad that I've had the opportunity to visit these two national parks, not saying I would go out of my way to come back to them, okay, uh, if the opportunity arose and I was in the, and I was in the area, I might, okay, but, uh, you know, they're not on my top 10 or 25 bucket list, okay? I've been here. I can check that off and say I've done it. Um, there's no attraction or earning to, yearning to go back to those parks, um, and especially not in the summertime, okay, because I know it would be hot, 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 all right? Um, but, you know, it was, even with that, though, folks, it, it was a good day, Um we came back. We were less than a half mile uh, from the exit off of I-70 uh, onto 191 here uh, into, into to Green River, and we were coming down the mountain. You got to realize I got uh, you know a little you know Jeep Wrangler, you know a, a 98 uh, TJ, and the wind was so strong. Uh, I'm glad traffic wasn't behind me, beside me, or in front of me. Well, it wouldn't have mattered in front of me. But beside or behind me, because um, that wind, I mean, it was so strong that I stayed in my lane. But I'm not sure, you know, uh, if there had been two vehicles there. I mean, it, it was it was rough. I mean, it. I had to fight the wheel to uh, to stay in my lane because it wanted to uh, to pick us up and move us over. It was that strong. And it was just very brief, but still, it was enough to uh, <laughs> to get your attention. <laughs> All right. But, uh, and of course, I slowed down and, and let's say a half mile later, we were turning off the interstate, so it's all good, you know. And uh, the little Jeep is not set, uh, not designed to be going 80 miles an hour, uh, which is what the speed limit is. So, uh, you know, I definitely was not doing the speed limit. Uh, I didn't do the speed limit on the interstate at all today. Uh, excuse me. Um, I say the speed limit was 80 and. Uh, I might have broke 70 a couple of times only because I had vehicles behind me and I needed to stay in that 10 mile window, okay? But, uh, you know, that being said, uh, you know, it was it was good. It was a good day. Uh, Chrissy and I both enjoyed it. Um, you know, it's, but like I said, you know, if we've been there, there's no real need to go back now, okay? She's got her magnets, I got my t-shirts. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I tell you, is there a support group for uh, 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 addiction to T-shirts or something? <laughs> Christy says I got an addiction to buying T-shirts because every, every national park or city I go to, I got to get a shirt. <laughs> you need to go to intervention. Go to intervention, she says. I need to go to intervention. Here's my one from uh, the Badlands National Park. And uh, the Badlands, it's on the same list as these two, Okay. Been there, done that. I don't have to go back. I took Chrissy back this time. That's why I had to go back to make sure that she had her ticket punched. Don't really have to go back now, okay? <laughs> Not that it wasn't nice. It just wasn't that nice. All right. But, hey, let me tell you something that is. The Lord, okay, today's scripture, all right? Exodus 14, 14. The Lord will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. You know, and then, you know, I say, uh, you know, another Cyprian version, the Lord himself will fight for you 
Just stay calm. Oh, how about that? Just stay calm. Keep calm. The Lord's in control. <laughs> like that one, do you? Yeah, me too. You know, like I said, uh, the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. In other words, just stay calm. You know, um, so many times we think we have to fix things. And you know, I, I talked about this a couple of nights ago. You know, a lot of things will come our way. You know, we, we won't be... Uh, turbulent free or tested free, you know, um, trials and tribulations we will have. Okay. It will build our faith. It will build our strength. Right. But as Christ said, he will never leave you or forsake you. Okay. Like I said last night, I think it was, you know, to turn it over to God, let him have it. Holy Spirit, you're in control. You know, you fight this battle because I read the end of the book. I know who wins. All right. So just go ahead and fight this battle. It's in your chapter. Okay. The ball's in your court. All right. You know, the Lord will fight for you. Just remain in peace. Hold your peace. In other words, just be calm. Uh, so many times we try to get in there. And folks, you know, in, in my opinion, okay, in my own humble opinion, this is why we have such tribulation in the church today. It's because man has got involved in doing God's business. Just let God work. Just let God do his job. And get out of the way and see how things are peaceful and see how, how things work together. Okay? Um, but, you know, I'm not a theologian. I'm not a pastor. I'm just a, a sinful guy that found Christ turned my life over to him and said you're in control and try to follow him that's all I am okay so I, I, I and still I like I told you last night I tried to take those things back you know that oh Lord uh, you ain't doing quite such a good job. let me try it again all right the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace God bless you we will see you tomorrow from someplace east of here not headed to Carolina yet but we're going to be east of here God bless you. Good night.